Normally on a Wednesday, Eagle Crest High School buzzes with activity. Today, it was quiet, closed while public health officials investigate whether bacterial meningitis is involved in the deaths of two staff members. It's very dangerous, first of all. Dr. David Wiles is an infectious disease specialist at Denver Health Medical Center. Even with prompt medical attention, there could be a mortality rate or a death rate of up to 10%, maybe even higher, depending on the specific bacteria causing the meningitis and how soon somebody gets to medical attention. The Arapahoe County Coroner hasn't determined a cause of death for either woman, but teacher Maddie Schmidt had symptoms consistent with bacterial meningitis. And though it's not clear whether paraprofessional Judith Jeffroy did, the two both worked in the school's instruction learning center focusing on children with special needs. Persons who are in close contact for a prolonged period of time, it is possible to spread that from person to person. So far, Arapahoe County public health officials are investigating only Schmidt's death. They're tracing people who spent time around her and giving them antibiotics. Luckily, most of the, the most common causes of bacterial meningitis do respond very quickly to antibiotics, so the sooner you would get those antibiotics on board, the, the better the outcomes would potentially be. Bacterial meningitis spreads through saliva, so coughing and sneezing and sharing things like forks and spoons can all transmit the disease. Plus, at, on any given time, any one of us is maybe carrying the bacteria around in our respiratory tract. There are about seven cases a year in Colorado. There are vaccines available, and Dr. Wiles encouraged people to talk to their doctor about what vaccines might be right for them. It's something that's really, you can see, would spread in a school environment. It is so scary. So it yeah, what about Eagle Crest High School? Are they reopening? Eagle Crest is reopening tomorrow, but the center dedicated to children with special needs where these two women worked is going to stay closed until Monday. All right, thank you, Kevin.